So this time, CAD is the other end of the scale. I'm starting on the bodywork. Oh yes, cardboard aided design for the bodywork. Hey all, so more bodywork stuff, but hopefully a bit shorter. So you may have seen, there you go, the camera's moving. I bought a new gadget, anyway. Right, so you may have seen in the previous video, kind of in the background, I've made a couple of cardboard templates for the front, because the, the, a lot of this bodywork is going to be fairly flat panels. That was the plan. Having been doing the nose cone and the curved bits and the time it takes, it's kind of even more definite that this is going to be um, flat panels. So for this side, I use the template and I've cut out this stuff here was left over from when I converted the van into a camper van. And it's about 2mm PVC. Um, you can see it's fairly flexible. It sounds like a, oh, Christ, I was going to say a wobble board and then remembered who did the wobble board. Maybe that's not a good association to have. Anyway, so I've cut that out. That's where the um, little hump thing's going to be that I made in the previous video. And I think obviously this is going to be a bit too flexible. So once I've got it all in shape, I'm going to see how sort of flexible it is. Obviously, fiberglassing or bonding that in is going to stiffen up that area. Um, and on this side, also, I'll have the fuel filler cap going through there, which again will be a stiffen up. But I think what I might well do is either. Uh, put a complete layer of GRP on the back or it might be I'd kind of run bands across where the um, I've already welded on some tabs here on the chassis so it might be a case of bands and maybe a band down the middle as with many things you've probably noticed on this channel that a lot of it is try see how it goes and then kind of develop from there so this is going to be another one of those Hopefully not as long as the last lot. Yeah, so I've welded in a load of these little tabs at various distances with the, the I think it's M6 in there, uh, M6 thread. Um, the only bit I need to change a bit is I need to work out at the top here where obviously it's going to curve around. Um, I need tabs on there and I think though again is to be found out I think with a bit of heat this stuff will um, you know bend and stay in place but certainly I think also around there will probably be a, a kind of a fiberglass a fiberglass or GRP um, band there to kind of help keep that shape might even be a, end up putting sort of bands all the way you know, <clears throat> along where the uh, mounting points are. Okay, anyway, so that's where I am at the moment. I've just started that one. I'm going to cut that out and kind of smooth off these straights a bit. And on, I'll be back to you. I've just done a bit of trimming now. Obviously, that's not um, bonded in yet, but just to sort of make sure it's all, that's cut and trimmed okay. I've got all the holes just a little bit more trimming there I decided I wanted that it looked better with that little bit of chassis showing than completely covered and then I'm gonna put a riv nut in here so I can secure one there then one of these tags there a tag there and a tag there and for welding on these additional tags I'm gonna have a crack at um, what I now believe people refer to as stick welding. I'm sure it's the same as arc welding, which is what it used to be called in the, the olden days when I learned how to do it. Anyway, um, the problem with doing these tags were I had no way of holding them in place whilst uh, TIG welding. So whilst TIG welding, you need one the torch in one hand and the filler in the other, uh, where with the stick welding, I can then hold this, you know, with pliers or something, 
um, and you only need your one hand so I'm gonna give that a go. Having a little break in this video for something I don't think I've ever done before <clears throat> which is the very very proud dad moment. Um, I, you probably know my business is involved with karting uh, and my lad used to race you know we used to do owner driving and all that sort of thing which which damn nearly killed me really because of the, the cheating and the stuff goes on it's horrendous anyway the last few years he's been at university and racing in the university British University Kart Championship yesterday his team uh, Birmingham finished third overall in their division uh, but the afternoon was the driver's champs which was the individual ones and my lad won overall yes about I think there's over 120 entrants into it and he won the grand final he didn't only win the grand final he won it by five seconds which anyone knows anything about karting that is a massive win Anyway, so there we go. Sometimes, what do the kids call it? Oh, I've forgotten the bloody name of what they call it now, not bling. Oh, shit, I can't ever remember all that youth speaking. Anyway, there we go. It won't happen often for me, but I just, you know, as an autistic person, I'm supposed to be unemotional, aren't I? But I went, I was down there watching it, actually. I can't get to many of them, but I was down there watching it with his granddad. And we were jumping up and down and shouting and cheering. And I've, I've got to say, that my eyes might have just got a little bit damp behind those sunglasses. It was a fantastic day. Anyway, as you might be able to notice from the background, back to reality today. I'm back out in the garage and I'll show you what I've been up to. Anyway, for this corner, I've now welded on the lugs. I've also got a weld on. For this bit here, I'm going to have uh, a weld on knot. I did think about riv knot there, but obviously these are kind of structural because that goes down to the front end that's sort of holding all this together. Um, so I don't really want to be cutting holes in. So I think what I'll do is I'll just weld a knot on, and obviously then the bolt that goes in has got to be a, a fairly short, kind of precise length, if you see what I mean, so it doesn't bottom out. But, you know, that's no big deal. I just remembered that word I was trying to remember. Flex. That's the word they use, isn't it? I don't often flex. But sometimes it, it's got to be done. Anyway, let's get back to this now. Okay, so I'm going to do a little experiment with this heat thing. So I've cut a little strip off. And heat gun so, put this on low because it's pretty fierce on high what I'm doing is just sort of feeling for a lot of the time with things like this you can kind of it, it kind of loses its springiness you can see there it's just flicking back Ah, so it's starting, it feels that oh, you can't see on video, <laughs> but it, it's kind of feeling different. And can you see? It's kind of gone plasticky. I know it is plastic, but you know, rubbery cracked, I should say. So let's just hold it there for a little bit, let it cool down. And see if it's going to hold that shape and not have become kind of really brittle or anything like that. Okay, so that's cooled down now. And that's good as well because, of course, I'm slightly worried that this blue is just a protective layer, but obviously, I want to leave it on there as long as possible because uh, I think I've said, but in case I haven't said. The idea with this is, is I will, when probably one of the last stages of the car, is I will peel obviously this blue stuff off and I will put wrap over. So that's looking all right. And that has, that's brilliant. So that means I can, a bit of heat in situ, get it to shape and then use a little bit of fiberglass 
GRP to strengthen the bits I want to. Hey! So that's the front on now. Hopefully you're starting to get a picture of uh, my, uh, let's do air quotes, vision of what I'm up to here. I have the bulge over there, which if you don't know what I'm on about, see previous video. Um, I've not done the heat thing here yet. Uh, I'm realising actually that I think the one I've already put in is fine and the one here is probably not needed because that's kind of doing the job anyway. Um, and what I need to do is mark up, so, because I, this out at the underneath, because the, um, it's quite close, the nut on here, the welding on here, I'll have to put a fair way down, but I think that's fine. So I'm going to apply a little bit of heat and see if it then keeps shape, because if it keeps shape, that's brilliant, because it then means I can put GRP on the underside, uh, just do it outside Well, obviously if it won't keep shape I need to put the GRP on it where it is now uh, Which I really don't want to do because I get all that horrible messy stuff all over the chassis um, I know it's going to be shot blasted at some point, but um, oh, It's just horrible stuff. It gets everywhere, isn't it? So I'm gonna do that now and you will find out the results in a moment. So I've applied a little bit of heat and it seems to be sitting okay uh, around that area where the kind of twist is um, and put all the screws in and I'm actually surprised with all the screws in it is, I don't know if you can sort of see the flex but it it's not moving a whole lot obviously a bit and I suppose if I ever manage to get this thing to do high speed that would probably be flapping around like a flag in the wind so what I'm going to do is, I, th I think I said earlier, is I'm going to put a, um, almost like a band, I think, GRP around the edges to help reinforce the screws through. And then I'm going to do like a band zigzag, probably zag up to that one, I think. Maybe even run. Well, I would already have one there. Um, you probably listen to this guy, GRP, GRP, I thought he wasn't going to do any more GRP. Uh, well, this doesn't count, okay, because this is just throwing a bit of resin and a bit of stuff on a flat bit of sheet. Uh, so that doesn't count, it's not all that malarkey I was doing down here. Uh, and I can do that on a bit of board outside. I'm told the sun's going to come out soon, because we've got a heat wave coming. Uh, so, right, so I'll get on with that. Um, I'll show you the result. Um, Christ almighty, there's no need to be showing you uh, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, okay, so I'll get on with that. Okay, so as I was talking about before, I have put a little bit of stiffening GRP on the back. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough or I need more, but when that is um you know the bubble bit is added and also around this area somewhere because the fuel tank will be underneath so around this area somewhere there will be the filler cap which i would also kind of put uh probably put a um carbon kind of ring around it um partly to sort of try and look a bit flash but also i'm not too sure uh, with fuel spills on to uh, wrap quite whether they go together that well so I'm not going to do you can see it's still moving a bit it's fairly stiff these aren't fully tight um, so I'm not going to do any more stiffening yet because with those bits added that might be enough uh, and also I've got to put that uh, weld in that there the, obviously I do the other side at some point but it's just going to be a mirror thing the might uh, videos might become a little bit sporadic for a while um, those of you who follow know that I um, I'm an electronic engineer I repair stuff uh, make parts for for motorsport and um, of course this time of year so if you're watching it late this is like end of April gets very busy for me so unfortunately it means I've got to be earning the pounds instead of being out here enjoying myself uh, but there'll be an update soon because um, I'm going to start doing the um, 
putting the brake hoses in and finalising last bits and bobs with the um, master cylinders. I've also got all the hoses and everything for the uh, fuel tank and obviously I need to put the hole through the front for the fuel tank. So I'll do some updates as and when. There's something to tell you about. Cheers for getting this far. Remember, good old YouTube stuff. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Do all those things. It's really helpful. Bye.